Landscape with Invisible Hand is a science fiction novel set only just a few years in the future, like four or five years in the future. And it's about a kid who is an aspiring artist. He wants to be a landscape painter, both, you know, painting on canvas, but also doing like virtual reality landscapes too. And uh, so he's trying to capture the American landscape in the wake of alien colonization of the earth. And the story is actually told entirely through descriptions of the landscapes he paints. So you can see through those landscapes, the progress both of the alien colonization and the progress of his own family's trials and deterioration in the time since they landed. These aliens uh, first visited us in the late 40s, the 50s, and so the, one of the gags in the book is that they kind of decide that's what traditional humanity lives like. So they keep on demanding that humans perform kind of traditional roles. In other words, that we act like we did in the 1950s. Uh, so, you know, doo-wop music is felt to be traditional human music and that, that kind of thing. And one of the things is that they are totally fascinated by 1950s dating. This kid discovers that he can monetize going out with his girlfriend by selling the experience of him dating um, back to the aliens, but doing so in a kind of a 1950s context. So he and his girlfriend have to pretend that they sort of have this cutesy 1950s relationship, which goes well for a while. They make a lot of money and they're having a great time until of course the relationship starts to go sour. And then that makes it much more complicated to act in front of a giant audience of gaping aliens in some ways, I do feel like this book turned out to be about the way that we try to create an image of ourselves. We try to create a persona of ourselves, despite the fact of how other people are trying to see us and portray us. Our greatest work of art is ourselves at the moment. We are creating our personalities online. There's a connection with Feed only in the sense that this is also a science fiction book that is somewhat allegorical or explores things that really are about the world now, even though it's supposedly about the future. So the characters are not the same, the world that it's about is not the same as the world in Feed, but there still is that sense that, you know, what I'm really writing about is things that I am angry that I do in the present and that other people do in the present, that we're all part of. That really is sort of the core of the book, I think. And so there's, there's a similarity there between this and Feed. A lot of my favorite science fiction writers actually are these science fiction writers from the 50s, 60s, who um, write stories where you get a strong sense of like, uh, what they're really doing is exploring a human problem through the images of aliens and robots and far off worlds. That to me, um, it's a really fun way to take a mental problem and say, look, let's make this practical. What would actually happen if this were true? That to me is a very fun way to operate.